Righto folks, this is a short video on some of the fun I'm having with Home Assistant and the Local Tuya plugin. So I configured Local Tuya and uh, had a cloud account set up uh, and put all the information in and it connected, no complaints. But then I went to go and add a device, nothing appeared. It literally had no devices listed. Now I have something in the order of 33 devices. Um, now when I go and say add new device, you'll see one, one device. And the reason you can see this one device and none of the other 32 is because the other 32 devices are on a different subnet to the subnet which the two-year server is on. So let's look at the manual here for uh, local Tuya. And it says, if you select to add or edit device, a drop down menu will appear containing a list of devices detected. Now you would assume that those devices would have been detected based on your cloud API configuration, i.e. it would pull a list of devices from the cloud API. It is not what it does. So here I am on my Linux server, one of them. I'm gonna run a command here and it's listening on the LAN interface, which is the same LAN where that one to your device appeared. Let's watch. Now that device was on 192.168.0.158 and you'll see it is slowly and regularly broadcasting on UDP 6667. And here is a copy of that broadcast. So it is a UDP broadcast, 188 bytes of payload. That's the payload. The rest of it's uh, IP and UDP headers. This information is not encrypted as such. It's just in a binary format which is recognized by the local Tuya daemon running on the home assistant server. So that information broadcast by the Tuya device is what provides you with the details in local Tuya. So again, configure add new device, test socket 192.168.0.158. And the reason the name has come up is it's compared the device's ID against what the two-year cloud says that device is. And what you'll remember, hopefully, from earlier in the video is that device's ID was started with 5511 and ended in F3C. If I go to two-year, 5511, F3C, test socket, and it has the name test socket. And it's built that based on the broadcasts it is seeing. So unless you have a way of <clears throat> doing broadcast relays uh, from one VLAN to another, then your devices won't automatically appear in this list. So what are the benefits of having this information available to you? So let's go and configure this and note it's pulled the local key the host IP address, of course, because it saw the broadcast and the device ID. This is very handy. Otherwise, if you want this information, you have to do it manually. And the way you do it manually is you have to go into the Tuya platform, go to your devices, grab the device ID, copy the device ID, go to the um, API Explorer, uh, punch in that device ID, click Submit Request, and then once you do that, you get the local key, which if you go back here, you see is the same. So by having the cloud API configuration, that's the time you save. It doesn't save you in generating a list of devices that has to be based on broadcast traffic.